Safety is the focus for city officials ahead of tomorrow's 4th of July festivities. You are not kidding. The mayor and police announced this morning their plans to make Independence Day safe for all of us. And WMAR 2 News Skylar Henry with ways to expect us on the 4th of July. As Baltimore prepares for another Independence Day, police say there will be about 200 more officers in and around the Inner Harbor to keep everyone safe as the city prepares for another 4th of July celebration. While the fireworks are bursting in the air, Baltimore police will be on the ground in full force. There is a very heavy and robust staffing across all nine districts throughout the entire city. That's all of the, those officers come from ancillary parts of the department and detective units. And so no officers were pulled from districts so that we could maintain robust deployment across the city equally. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says as the thousands are expected to be in and around the Inner Harbor, he wants visitors and onlookers alike to be not only prepared, but vigilant. We will also be utilizing technology, including our extensive network of city watch cameras to keep everyone safe. Our plan is also in place to restrict commercial vehicles from traveling within the downtown area during the 4th of July. Police are also reminding those celebrating that fireworks are illegal in the city, as is celebratory gunfire. Simple yet important heads up to keep everyone in the area safe. We want you to have a plan. Number one, plan your route to and from your destination. And to the extent that you can plan where you will park, expect large crowds uh, in temporary street closures around the Inner Harbor and around the Fells Point area. Now, police are reminding people to not only be safe when they come out to celebrate for the 4th of July, but also be responsible as well. The events are supposed to kick off tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Reporting here in Federal Hill above in the Inner Harbor, I'm Skyler Henry, WMAR 2 News.